everyone, I'm the Beer Zero. This is going to be my review of the Fear of the Walking Dead Season 1 pilot or Episode 1 or whatever they want to call it. I don't know the name of the episode because I don't feel like looking it up. I was not a big fan of this <laughs> whatsoever. So if you know the name of the episode, please drop it in the comments down below and I'll update that video if you, if you want me to. But <sighs> this, I was not a fan of this at all. First off, I just want to get out of the way that I don't like any of the characters whatsoever. There's only one character that I like, and that's the dad. The dad, I feel like... I, I, I just... I don't know, I just ended up liking him more than anybody else. The second favorite... I don't even really call it a favorite. It's just like, well, you know, you're the only one that doesn't completely suck, so, you know, I guess you get second place. That's Nick. And he's the only character on the show that I know his name. I think his name is Nick. That's what they called him a few times, I guess. The drug addict. I don't even think he's that likable of a character because he is a drug addict. I mean, this isn't fucking Breaking Bad. Okay? <laughs> this is Fear of the Walking Dead. And I just want to say, this is called Fear of the Walking Dead, and we only saw three zombies. Now, I knew going in, this was not going to be the full zombie apocalypse. This season is the build-up to it. I just thought we would have seen more. This was 90 minutes of L.A. Life's drama with three zombies thrown in randomly. Beginning, middle, and end. So, yeah. Not a big fan. <laughs> Not a big fan. Like, the rest of the characters, I just, I don't, I don't care about. I, I don't. <laughs> I just feel like they're shitty characters. I just, they, they feel like just people. They don't feel like characters. They don't feel like TV show characters. There's no, like, definitive Rick Grimes. There's no Shane. There's no Carl. You know? I mean, there's no way that you just instantly gravitate towards. Watch this episode one, and then go watch Walking Dead episode one, and see how much they make you care for the characters, especially Rick in The Walking Dead. And then watch this it just doesn't compare. This is like CBS, pardon me, CBS level of character drama. This is not what I'm used to with The Walking Dead. The quality standard is just not up there. Especially with AMC. You got Mad Men, fucking Breaking Bad, and <laughs> Walking Dead. This is not up to AMC standards. I don't, I, I really don't think so. And it was just generic zombie shit. This felt like World War Z, the TV show. That's what it felt like to me. World War Z is a good movie. It's not a great movie, but it it is just generic zombie shit. That's, that's all it is. There's nothing special about it. And there's nothing special about this TV show. It has none of the magic that The Walking Dead has. This doesn't feel like an event. Yeah, well, this episode didn't feel like an event. It just felt like, oh, well, it's just another zombie TV show. I mean, that's just that's just the way it felt. <sighs> Walking Dead is just so unique because it didn't explain how the shit happens. You just, it just plops you in. You learn the characters as they grow throughout the zombie apocalypse, right? It's a unique setting where it's in the South and stuff like this. And the stuff that it tackles is pretty neat. And the zombies are pretty unique, too. This... Uh, this really just felt like generic zombie shit. You could put World War Z, the series, on this, and people would believe you. That's the way I feel. This didn't feel like Walking Dead at all. Like, this felt like CBS version of Walking Dead. And, mm, First five minutes, I will say, the first five minutes, amazing. Amazing. I love the tension they were building up there. I love the reveal of the zombie girl jumping on the dude. I love the intro. You know, the logo with the music. That was, ah. Oh. That got me in the mood. That's like, this is straight up horror. I like this. And then it turns into just stereotypical L.A. drama. Okay. 
It's like you got two sets of divorced people who now form a new family. Like, what the fuck is this, an 80s Spielberg movie? I... <laughs> I, I don't know. This just felt very cliche, very generic, and... I don't know, I just didn't like it overall. Maybe in retrospect, after we finish the first season, this will be a hell of a lot better. We'll appreciate the stuff that they laid here. But right now, you know, by the seat of pants, heat of the moment, 5 out of 10 for this. That, it just wasn't that great. I just did not enjoy it that much at all. I will say, if you were in the same boat as me where you didn't like it that well, go ahead and give the rest of this uh, first season, because it's only six episodes, give it a shot. Because some of the greatest series have had shitty first episodes or subpar first episodes. So, so, generally, it takes an episode or two for a series to get its footing. Now, I also want to add that I don't think there's ever been a successful spinoff series, ever. I don't think so. Maybe Torchwood, which was a spinoff of Doctor Who, pretty much. But, I mean, that was only a couple seasons, so... The only spinoff that I can think that actually ended up being as good or better than the original series was CSI Miami. That was legit better than CSI. And they canceled it. So. <laughs> it's another CBS one. But yes, this really did feel like CBS level. This did not feel like AMC. So I'm hoping they ratchet up the gore, they ratchet up the tension, they ratchet up the horror, and turn this into a true fucking Walking Dead. Get some of that magic that brought Walking Dead in there. Get rid of this generic shit. It I know they're trying to give this show its, its own identity, but by doing that, they just went run out of the mill zombie route, and I just did not like it. I just... I didn't. I was sitting there bored the entire time, like, this is fucking Fear of the Walking Dead. I don't see any fear, and I don't see any Walking Dead. Right on! Yeah, well, anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this Walking Dead, um... Uh, Fear the Walking Dead episode. I hate, I still like this title. It's stupid. They should just change like Fear of the Dead, you know, instead of Fear of the Walking Dead. But, um, I just want to add that Surprisingly Dolphin actually ended up liking this. I want to say he loved it. Maybe he did. Let me, let me check his messages. Uh, his exact words were, that was way better than I thought it would be. So, Maybe he loved it. I don't know. I did not. I did not. <laughs> I didn't enjoy this. I didn't. And that, that really saddens me. That really does. But, oh well. Still going to give it a shot next week. And hopefully next week it really does impress. But, like I said, the big thing is it's just a generic zombie show. And the characters, I don't like any of the fucking characters. Like I said, the dad. I, I don't know the dad's name. And maybe Nick. Hmm. I don't know, he's, he's kind of like fucking Breaking Bad Season 3 Jesse. I, nah. <laughs> Not right now. Not right, maybe, hopefully by the end of the season I'll like some of his characters, but like the only one right now that I like is the dad. So, that's it. <laughs> like I said, anyways, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this Fear of the Walking Dead episode. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.